ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਵਾਸ ਆਸਟ ਬਾਈ ਦ ਮੁਸਲਮਸ ਦੇ ਸੈਡ ਓ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਟੈਲ ਅਸ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਆਫ ਦ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨਸ ਔਰ ਦ ਹਿੰਦੂਸ who do you lead guru nanak dev ji sache paatsha replied that i am common main saryan da sanjha aa when they heard this they contemplated and then they asked they said oh guru nanak dev ji really if you are common to both muslims and hindus if you lead both you are here to enlighten both then please come and read the nawaz with us nawaz is something that muslims read every day five times a day it's like their nath name guru nanak dev ji agreed guru nanak dev ji was brought by the muslims to this spot here where today stands gurdwara sri antaryamata this pavan putra place guru nanak dev ji arrived at this place the muslims all began to read their nawaz Guru Nanak Dev Ji Sachche Paatsha didn't utter a word. And then when they everyone bowed down, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Sachche Paatsha they stayed standing. Everybody wondered. And when Guru Nanak Dev Ji was asked after, Khan came up and said, "Oh Guru Nanak Dev Ji, you promised that you would read the nawaz with us. Why did you not read the nawaz?" Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, "I was waiting for you to read it. As soon as you read it i would have started reading it they said guru nanak dev ji why didn't you bow down with us guru nanak dev ji said that when i was waiting for you to bow down as soon as you bowed down then i would have bowed down as well khan said but i did read i did bow down guru nanak dev ji said no you didn't you were thinking about the market and the horse you were going to buy in the city of kandar you were waiting and your mind was all in that greed of when you're going to go there the different horses and the different markets that are there and the new beautiful horse the steed that you're going to buy you are not thinking about Allah you are not thinking about God you did not actually bow down to God you're bowing down to your own anger and your own greed and your own needs Khan was stunned Khan knew Guru Nanak Dev Ji Sachche Paatsha was the inner knower of all hearts then Khan asked But if I have faults in myself why didn't you read the nawaz with the qazi the priest Guru Nanak Dev Ji said that he wasn't reading it either he was thinking about his calf at home the newborn calf which could have fallen into the well he was so worried about his household chores and the different things he had to do and his duties throughout the day he did not bow down to Allah either he did not utter a true word in true love Everybody fell at Guru Nanak Dev Ji Sachche Paatsha's feet. They realized Guru Nanak Dev Ji is divine, is truly here to enlighten everybody. They're the form of God in this world. They fell at Sachche Paatsha's feet and then Sachche Paatsha you are truly antarjami. Sachche Paatsha is teaching us in this world, don't think you can hide your actions, your thoughts, whatever crosses your mind from the Guru. Guru Nanak Dev Ji Sachche Paatsha is the inner knower of all hearts. pyaro not only guru nanak dev ji of course they know of course akalpurkh knows but everything that can rise above the physical body even gursiks itarmraj non physicals they can all know what is going in through our mind every thought and the truth is we think we think the thought and we can hide it from somebody else then nobody else will know what i'm thinking but i can just act sweet on the outside What you do behind closed doors you think you can hide from the world but the keep in mind guru knows everything gur sikhs know everything akal purkh knows everything everybody knows tarmraj knows the truth is that's why guru nanak dev ji says nanga dojak chalya when you go after when you leave this body you will be standing naked all the things that go with you are the negative thoughts these thoughts that come into your mind the action that you do the things that you did behind closed doors you can't hide them you can't cover them up with clothes anymore no you will be standing naked make sure you are beautiful then you will be dressed with robes of honor if you connect yourself to guru's name akal purkh's naam but if you think you can cheat the world you can hide the world 
hide in the world, something is called Pargat Chitar meaning that everything will become visible everything is known everything above this world, everything above this body Pyaryu everything is being known even at this very moment when you do your Netrim when you are bowing down to the Guru when you are talking to your friends when you are cheating at work, whatever you do behind closed doors at night all of that is being watched, being accounted for now you think it is Gupta Chitar, meaning that the thoughts that are in your mind, they just stay your thoughts. That whatever your heart needs to be pure and according to yourself, or you just need to do good actions, but you can think something else, but that means nothing. Nahin Pyaryo, Satya Pacha is the knower of all hearts, every deed is being written down, every action is being accounted for. Satya Pacha proves to us at this asthan, Gurdara Antar Yamata Sahib. That Satya Pacha truly knows what's going on inside of those devotees but not just of the devotees not only the pains and the pleasures of the devotees Satya Pacha knows everything Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh